Well, people, we're back. I don't think we went anywhere. We we did this last week. <laughs> We've been sitting here the whole time. Yeah, just waited for a week. There's a big there's a big uh, pile of uh, whatever <laughs> bodily filth. There's a five gallon bucket down there, and it's almost <laughs> to the rim. So I'm glad we're done. If, whew, it's it stinks long, in here. It's a long week. So yeah, uh, new show on streaming. Uh, I swore I wasn't going to get it. I I and I didn't. Just when I thought. It was. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled me back in. I I didn't, but somebody decided, and it wasn't even you this time. No, it was out of the blue, uh, and it's not like we didn't have anything on the DVR. It's just <laughs> so much more stuff to watch. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is uh, kind of going over and reviewing Picard, Star Trek. <laughs> Hey, look, I was I was a Star Trek fan way before I was a Star Wars fan, so I'm I'm allowed, and I was a, I was a huge Next Gen fan. Next Gen, yeah, that's when it pulled a lot of of the younger people in. Yeah, it's uh, that's when I saw. I was like, oh, Next Gen is so cool, and uh, so Picard is. Um, Who's your favorite Next Gen character? I was a Worf character. I, I love the Klingons, man. Uh, Klingons were co- pretty cool, but. Um, <clears throat> I also liked um, I, I like Data because that that one there was this one time where Data's all like I'm afraid and uh, and he's like, I'm gonna turn off my emotion chip <laughs> and I'll, and uh, I think uh, um, Picard said I wish I can do that so it was one of those things where um, yes Picard is back it's on it's only on CBS yes. All Access. All Access. So um, now that I have it, I'm probably gonna watch Discovery now. Yeah, that. and that's what I when you when when my when you kind of set me up and and said, hey, we're doing this, and I was like, all right, cool. And I was like, well, now I have CBS All Access, I might as well watch Discovery now. But I heard Discovery's way not not as good. So I know they they got plans for other Star Trek stuff. So. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, so episode one, um, a you have Picard. a Picard. It's pretty much like um, it's post him, post him retiring from yeah. Starfleet. This is right from uh, Nemesis. Um, uh, like, look, this is gonna be a lot of spoilers, and Nemesis uh, pretty much ended with um, Data blowing himself up to save the crew. Okay, um, but uh, so. And he's probably, he's in his 70s probably. I mean, this was 18 years ago from the last Nemesis. So even he says it was almost 20 years ago. So he, and he retired or got out as an admiral. But it's, it's one of those things where it's, it's so well shot and so well directed. And so, I mean, and Patrick Stewart is just, just amazing. And the pacing is just, it, I mean, it's its kind of slow, but not so slow that you want to stop watching. Yeah. It's just, well, the funny thing is, that was the one thing that got me is that, you know, I usually, when I watch like these shows, I'm usually like playing on my phone and it's in the background. Yeah. This was all like, this kind of grabbed me from the beginning and I was like, <gasps> and, I, and it was one of those things, I think it was more for fanfare than anything because there was a lot of references back to, uh, the, you know, the original yeah. Next Gen not stuff. Not necessarily Easter eggs, but a lot of references. A lot of references. Yeah. And, um, you know, I was always, I was always a big next gen fan and to see actually next gen people back on the screen as star trek characters was pretty cool and um now that we've been to enough cons i've met a lot of these people the only person <laughs> that still needs to sign my poster is patrick stewart and he is impossible to get so he doesn't do a whole lot of events i think the only event he does was the big star trek uh con in vegas every september that's where you're going to have to catch him. And that's where, unfortunately, that's where I'm going to have to catch him. But I'll be in L.A. And so, I, you know, I might take it. I'll see if it's the same weekend. But either way, so we're going to kind of go over it. I watched it this morning. Um, there's a lot going on. Jeez. Okay. So uh, you're going to cut to Picard playing poker with Data. And you have to understand that. And the first thing you think is like, wait a minute. Yeah. I was sitting there like, gone. He's I was dead. I was sitting there like, oh no, are they like trying to bring him back? All right, because I was sitting there like, all right, um, <laughs> but thank God, um, it was just a dream, you know? right? And he did wake up, and he has an awesome looking pit bull, which is named number, number one. one. <laughs> yeah, pretty cute little pit bull. And, and I was sitting there like, everybody's like. Who 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 did a better number one, the Pitbull or Riker? 
<laughs> Jonathan Fra- he appears later in, in yeah, the season. He does. They showed some. They said they said yeah, they showed like this this uh, season on Picard. <laughs> Do a who wore it best type thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah it was it was pretty good uh so pretty much he comes awake and it's called the oh god the picard uh, chateau chateau in paris yeah picard is his winery yeah, it's his winery in paris they referenced it in next generation a few times yeah because he always wanted to retire on a, on a vineyard and um and he retired and he got out and apparently he has two romulan romulan oh romulan romulan that's gonna be Annoying yeah, that's the first thing I noticed. I was like, whoa. Yeah, the two of them. I was but he like, did save most of the yeah. people on the planet. So, so the, the, I mean, if you haven't seen Nemesis, that's you probably should watch Nemesis um, before you show. watch because um, um, uh, the movie. Yeah, before you watch Picard, because it kind of it kind of lobs up Picard pretty well. Yeah, yeah, especially with the. Um, uh, so it's twenty years later. Uh, Sentients. So. He's going, Picard's going through an interview where they said, oh, hey, they set him up hard. They set him up hard, and you know it was going to come. They said, oh, we told her not to say those things. Yeah. And any good reporter, as soon as you tell them not to do something, they're going to do it. So, so pretty much, as soon as like the fifth question was all like, so why'd you leave? And, and it was whole, the thing is like, because I didn't leave Star. The he Star- disagreed with how they how they handled the Romulan um, exodus. Yeah, because they were just going to leave them. Yeah, and apparently Mars is still burning. So. Yeah, they said to this day. To this day, Mars so, is on fire. Is on fire. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's pretty much, and you know, he's he's an older man now. He's not he's not no spry chicken, but um, it. It's a good. It's it's getting a good foundation of what's going on with this uh, this season or this Picard or this reboot or something like that. Not reboot, but continuation. Um, so you you cut to um, Daesh, right? Yeah. That's that's the girl, and she has a whole a whole like it's it's like uh, two stories coming together at right. the end. Um, so which is I'm sorry, it's a horrible name. Daesh. Daesh. You know why it's a horrible name? Uh, it probably stands for something in another language, or it's you know, Daesh is the um, the um, Islamic um, the ISIS name in Islam is Daesh. For what? ISIS. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was sitting there like. Ooh. Well, her sister had a weird name too. Yeah, like Nona. Or Mona you you or find out she has a sister. Oh yeah. Well, she has a sister, but either way. So what happens is like um, I think these are they're. Like the first, like um, when we go to her her story, she's pretty much saying she just got accepted at some so, so, job. Well, well, and it wasn't just some job; it was the one in Tokyo, and it's actually um, a big prestigious um, learning center, or something right. like that. And it was actually this was actually referenced from previous ones. Mm-hmm. Um, so she she got she got a job there, and like literally, um, she's with her boyfriend, and the boyfriend's going to go get some food, and all of a sudden, these Romulans freaking just come in like... Well, you don't know the Romulans at first. Yeah, yeah you don't know the Romulans They bust in looking like snake eyes. I, I, I was sitting there like, man, even in the future, they still wear helmets. You would imagine yeah. they would have fi- invented something by now, but... And like, like you got, we got really invested in this dude, and then he's like, gone. Yeah, he was kind of cool. He had the, the yeah. side... He had like two sets of eye, yeah, eyelids, yeah. yeah. So pretty much, and they're trying to big knife to the heart. He's gone. oh yeah, yeah. And they they were trying to pretty much control her as soon as she gets in, and she's all like, she doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, well, they put that thing on her head, and they're like, oh, she hasn't been activated. she hasn't been activated yet. I and then like, all of a sudden, <laughs> oh man, it, you know what it remind me of? Um, if you ever see, if you ever Jason Bourne, no, check it. No, it's <laughs> uh, have you seen the movie Upgrade? Yeah. And that reminded me of that. Yeah. I said, dude, would you like me to take over? And I was like, yeah, she has. And then, like, she went in overdrive. I was like, damn. And she had a hood on. Yeah. So. And just wasted. Was it three or four dudes? Three dudes. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, and just wasted them. And she runs. And and she keeps having that flashback that, memory of uh, like, Picard. Of Picard. Of Doesn't, she's never met him before. Yeah. But she keeps having that vision. So pretty much, like, and then, um, so she's walking in the street and she's trying to get away, and she sees Picard on the on the on on TV on that interview where they inter- hijacked him on that newspaper or that the interview. So pretty much, it's 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 a cool it's a cool side story, and I think this is she's going to have a. Um, um, unfortunately, uh, she won't be yeah, continuing. Spoiler, on. spoiler: you're not going to see Daesh again. No, you're not going to see her anymore. But um, 
it was funny that she finds him. It's one of those things where she finds him, then she leaves, and then she finds him again, and she went all hacker mode. But yeah, he's like, well, how did you find me? You can't track me. Yeah. You have top secret yeah, clearance. Yeah, you need, you need classified clearance, and you don't have that. So, yeah, it's it's a crazy thing. So, uh, apparently, Daesh is the daughter of, of Data. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. We said it. Yeah. yeah. And we, we, hey, you you clicked on this freaking. Yeah, you clicked it's, on this it video. Says it says spoilers. So, so but uh, as you, he said, um, she actually has a twin. But I think what happened. That's ha- way at the end. That's way at the end, and that that we'll get into in a second. Yeah, when she finds Picard again, she is jumped again by the Romulan. Which they just pop out of nowhere. Yeah, they pop out of nowhere. So most likely they have like either a Romulan uh, transporter ship somewhere uh, because the, I, Romulans can cloak, right? No, or is that just Klingons? Uh, Romulans can too, I think. Yeah. So so they might have a ship somewhere, but. But uh, but the thing is, maybe that they have Yennefer and she's just making portals for them to come. In. Oh my God! Yes. Reference reference to our previous video. Hey, you should watch that. Um, so yeah, it's a yeah, it's it's a crazy look. Um, I know some people are really divided about this. Either some people like it or some people really don't like yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it's not a lot of action just yet, uh, besides the couple fight scenes. Yeah. But it's a lot of you got to build a story before you can just start blowing yeah, you, stuff you, up. You gotta Michael Bay like. <laughs> <laughs> or like Star Wars, like you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, it was uh, it was one of those things where it's like, oh, that's a really cool story, and then like she goes all like crazy upgrade mode, right? And she's and I was sitting like, man, the fight scenes are cool, and especially on those stairs, and I know exactly where those stairs are at because that is at that's Anaheim. Oh, was it Anaheim? Anaheim Convention Center because I actually um, stood on those back stairs. I stood on those back stairs with uh, with a bunch of friends, and my my friends were on that back stairs because that's where all the pictures were taken. This Did was any like, Romulus popping out of nowhere when you were there? No, I don't think I don't. But the thing is, the crazy thing is, uh, she messaged her mom, and the mom's like, "Just have to go back to Picard," and she's like, "I never told you." I never told you that. Uh, uh, yes, you did. Just do it. Yeah. Just shut up. So it looks like either they're looking for Picard, or she's there to protect Picard. Yeah, maybe the mom is just a, f- a figment of the of the. Her imagination. Yeah, because they, they I think they, it. wasn't there a glitch or something like that? Well, they put memories into her because she said, "Oh, I have a father, and this is what." Yeah, happened. And, and those are your memories. Yeah, those are yours. Take. Nobody can take them. Yeah, not happened though. <laughs> you just uh, that's what was implanted into. You. Yeah, and who knows how old how old she is? She might be as soon as data kind of. Well, went he's away. been retired for what twenty years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, because he said, Can "She's you like I'm twenty eight years old." A uh, what do you call it? A sentient. Yeah, it's what? a it's a it's a. Human? a uh, Android type thing. Yeah, it's pretty much. And they said like, oh, um, they tried, and so Picard pretty much went to the place where she got accepted it. And you know, it's funny that 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 scientist lady that he was talking to. I've seen her in something else. You know exactly where you've seen her. In. I can't place it. Um, uh, got um, oh no. I can see because Scott Bradley. No, not Scott Bradley. Oh, a a roundish face. She was the girl drummer from that movie. Uh, oh, Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim. That was her. Yeah, it was her. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Because as soon as I see her, I was like, ha, I know her. Because <laughs> I, I really, really just watched that movie the other night. So I was sitting there like, ha. Ha. We are Sex Bob Bomb. And we are here to sell that stuff. But yeah, so she, yeah. Um, yeah, she, she's in there. She's the doctor. And it's funny because, like, the first time he asked her seriously, she started laughing. Yeah. And you're like, oh, 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 wait. You're serious. And then you see B, they still have B4, yeah. which is a data... A data clone, which inferior, is stupid. An inferior a, clone. A stupid clone. Yeah, but he had another one, didn't he? Lore? I think so. Who was pretty much evil? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it was like the, the, like the South Park. It just has a goatee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think he did. If I remember right, that uh, he was just evil. The doctor, whatever. I guess made him first, and it yeah. turned out bad. So he shut him down. Well, the thing is, like, so uh, Data, um, um, pretty much the he made two paintings. So we're going to kind of go back to Daesh. We made two paintings. This is how Patrick Stewart. Or, I'm sorry. This is how Picard. <laughs> they're, they're interchangeable. So this is how Picard finds out who she actually is. Because there's two paintings. One he has in his in his office, but she's looking away. And then he goes to the archives, and that one she's looking forward to, and it's the same exact painting. And that was painted twenty some odd years ago by Data. By Data. Yeah. So and Data and calls. The name of the painting the, is. You know, the name. Uh, the, the name of the painting is Daughter. Daughter. So, yeah, it's uh, it's it was like like oh, that's 
pretty interesting. It's an interesting concept. I, I really like it. Um, so now you have this, not sentient, but yeah, sentient, you know, what do they call them? Oh, God. Um, uh, you know, I... Oh, God. I Synth, can, synth, synth, synth synth, or, yeah, yeah, something. Synth, synthetics. Yeah, synthetics, yeah. right? Synthetics are pretty much just androids. It's a replicant. Yeah. <laughs> wrong series. Yeah, wrong series. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's pretty much... Um, yeah, it's 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 an interesting concept. Like I said, there's not a lot to go to, uh, that's going down, um, but um, you know, Daesh is protecting Patrick. Uh, she ends is up Picard, well, and she. It, I thought I, I thought, and then she gets spit on, like the Romulan like dude acid spit, some spit acid stuff on her, and then and the, the gun blew the up. The gun and blew up, and and she kind of blew up with him, and I was sitting there like, oh. Well, crazy. Yeah, and there was some kind of cover-up because they only found Picard on the roof by himself. Yeah. yeah no dead had, bodies. Yeah, no and, dead bodies, no nothing, no explosions. Just found him, hit his head. and But, like, every time that... It was one of those things that every time that... They try to get her on video. It was scr- it was scrubbed. So yeah, it was. I think I think it was like her programming. It probably it, scrubs it, as soon as it goes through. Could be. Yeah, it's it's a crazy crazy show already. I and I'm 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 kind of glad that she, you guys got CBS All Access because I'm a, I'm a, you know, it's it's good it's a good it's a good. Uh, I like it so far. It's a good show. But what do you think about that end scene reveal? The, that's what I was gonna say. Is that the, but that end scene reveal. So we find out. She has a twin sister, shocker, right? Twin sister, but that's like, but it's like space soap opera, right? Yeah. <laughs> My twin sister, dun dun dun, and they're surrounded by, by a bunch of Romulans, right? Yeah. And they're taking apart a Borg cube, and I was like, well, it, and it first shows, you know, it just shows the interior real yeah. close. You don't know where they're yeah, at. Yeah, you don't it's know like where they're at because yeah. you see the ships coming in. Yeah. And she's talking to that dude, that Romulan dude. And, and Robin it, dude's trying to be like he was all like dramatic. Yeah, I was like I know you don't want to talk to me, but apparently she, her twin sister's a doctor. Yeah, and it, it's probably a psychotherapy. So it sounded like it because yeah. he, he mentioned you, something about the mental because, health because you, well he said well you, you listen to people's problems all day long. Yeah. As soon as you're off, you don't want to listen to mine. So, I was like, try me. I was like, oh god. Yeah, and then they pan out from that, and they keep on panning out, and yeah, keep on and, panning out, and you're like, oh no, yeah. Oh, no. And it's, it's the board cube, and you see like one corner of it is completely caved out, but yeah. they're rebuilding it. Yeah. So the Romulans, they've been displaced. Yep. They got to find a place to live. Well, yeah. they said 900 million or yeah. something like that. Yeah, hey, nobody's using this cube. <laughs> Anybody got dibs? We, yeah, we, we call it, we got squatters we rights. Got, we got <laughs> <laughs> The landlord tries to go. Yeah. Seven and nine's still around. Did you see her too? I saw, well, the, you, you don't see her in this episode, but you do see her in the previews. Right. Uh, which is kind of cool because I was sitting here like, I was, um, for seven and nine, it was Deep Space Nine, right? Uh, was it Deep Space Nine? I forget. I, I like I said, I've, I've only really. I thought she was on Next Generation for a little while. I don't think so. Maybe, maybe I, I could be wrong. She it, might have crossed. It over. has been like twenty years since I've seen yeah, Next it's Gen. Been a while. Um, I and and as soon as they put like Next Gen in like widescreen and HD, <laughs> <laughs> buy the whole set. Yeah, I'll, I'll 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 go right back into it. Hey, they're doing that with friends, so I know it's possible. So yeah, yeah. So you're gonna see her. You're going to see Riker. Riker. Yep. Was that Marina uh, Sir? Was it Deanna Troy there? Deanna Troy, Marina Sirtis. Um, they, you know, Data keeps popping up in his dreams. Yeah, because, I mean, you have to understand, Data sacrificed himself, and he tried. So, what they said is they, he's trying, he tried to upload his consciousness in into B4. Into B4. But, and apparently, I guess some of his consciousness went into Daesh and the, the sister. So. Well, they said most of it. Was not recoverable. Yeah. But they said this new stuff they have that yeah. even if it's just a neuron yeah. of it left, they can recover. They can recover the entire. Yeah. The which whole. is which is pre- it's a pretty interesting concept. So I'm, I'm wondering not if lie. eventually by the end of the season we're going to start seeing data come back. Well, I mean, he's he's it's not like he's a dead role. It's it's a recurrent role. So uh, I, I I don't mind seeing him. Um, you know, like I said, 20 years is a very long time, and he, he doesn't look like he did 20 years ago. I wanted uh, to see Worf. Ambassador Worf. Ambassador Worf. Uh, yeah, I think he was Ambassador Nemesis. I think yeah, so. He's wearing the, the Life Day yeah. robes yeah. from Chewbacca. He borrowed those. Because <laughs> I remember I remember him having that gold sash. So. Yeah, that, that, that's a crazy thing yeah, I mean, remember. Uh, it's all that nostalgia of seeing all those old characters again. It's so right? crazy. But that, you know, uh, they've been doing cons so long, and we've been doing cons so long, and you've seen these guys. And I've, I've met most, I've met yeah, we've every. Yeah, had 
Yeah, uh, we, you, Levar Burton. I forgot about him. We got to see Jordy again. Yeah, what's I, he doing? They're probably teaching at the academy, right? He's doing reading rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Jordy Laporte, the futuristic reading. Radio. Well, they they also Jordy. Uh, well, he also um, the guy who plays Jordy Laforge, um, Lavar Burton. Lavar Burton. He says that um, he doesn't want to have the um, the the goggle things because you know eyes are such an expression that he doesn't want them to obstruct his acting. You know, Which it's is, the future that I'm sure they could, if they can recover data from one year on, yeah. they can fix his eyes. They can fix it. I mean, they already fixed that big gash on that lady's forehead. With him. Well, oh, we're just, there you go. Done. All like, good. Damn. I cut my finger the other day and bled for like three days straight. <laughs> they should have took that to like some Klingons to see if they could fix their. <laughs> I wonder if. a tortoise shell on your head? I wonder, yeah. Well, I mean, like the new Klingons. I wonder if the new Klingons are going to look like the old Klingons. Hmm. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be pretty interesting. But then again, it's looking like it's all from the original stuff. So I, it'd be kind of weird to see Worf, and then see the new Klingons, because, uh, it's I know it's a different timeline, but still it's kind of not a different time. Well, I don't know. Well, we'll see. Well, but we'll see I, we haven't seen a Klingon yet, but um, but they did preview um, a new captain, and they did preview new um. um like uh, shipmates and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't think he got his. his well, he's he's talked about. He was on a ship. Well, yeah, he he's but, a, he's an admiral, but he's also retired. But you know, so but he, there's a there's actually a new captain, captain. So maybe, but was he a captain or was he just some dude who had a ship? I don't maybe know. He's we, a smuggler. Maybe it was like a oh Han Solo. God. Star Trek's Han Solo. Yeah, me, the droid. <laughs> <laughs> My dog and no questions asked. Yeah, so it, it's. I think it's going to be a very interesting show. I'm glad it started off with a lot of nostalgia. You also had a lot of ships that you you saw, um, especially in the archives. Right. And everybody's like, you know. So, oh, oh, oh. Uh, so the the Uber and they don't like to be called Trekkies; they're called Trekkers. The Uber Trekkers are going to pick it apart. You can call me either one. I don't care. Yeah, I don't want to care. I'm, I'm, I mean, do you think if he takes the dog with him on the ship and picks up uh, Riker? Oh. And he says, "Hey, number one," and they both yeah. look over. Yeah. <laughs> number one, come over my lap. No, <laughs> I don't, like, oh no, I don't. I'm pretty sure I don't think Riker's gonna come back because he was. He looked all like Grizzly Man, and I don't. You don't see him. He looked he, like Farmer Man. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he's retired. Like peasant Riker. But it's one of those things. I think what they're trying to do is, I think they're trying to, to bridge that gap from the old next gen to the new next gen because they knew they know that. N- the next gen is by far their popular, their most popular. So Star Trek, the Star newer Trek, the new new generation besides like Deep Space Nine and all that kind of stuff, uh, which I never really got into. I was always a next gen fan. I was I was never even a Star Trek original fan. I, I wouldn't mind them pulling in some of the other properties. You know, some people from Deep Space Nine or uh, um, what was the one with Scott Bakula? Oh, um, Quantum Leap. <laughs> It's Star Trek Quantum Leap. <laughs> That'd be was dope, it Discovery though. he was in? I think it was Discovery. Yeah. No, no, no. It wasn't. Discovery's the new one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, Star Trek comment down below if you know what we're talking about. We're, we're trying to memorize all this stuff. And Yeah, I never yeah. watched the Scott Bakula one. I heard it was good. Well, I like Scott Bakula. Maybe it'll be on All Access and we can watch it. I'm pretty sure everything's on there right now. <laughs> But you're all paying like seven dollars a month for it. Six, because we got the one with commercials. Because oh. she's cheap. <laughs> yeah, spend an extra twenty minutes per yeah. episode. Yeah, exactly. And then first commercial come up, she complained. I'm like, but you just said to get the cheap one because you didn't want to pay the extra couple of bucks for no. Co- just stop. Yes. Well, we all know my mother is yes. very cheap. But either way, um, episode one. Episode full one. Full, yeah, it's it was a big fan fe- fanfare. Fan fest, and I, I'm I'm kind of glad you got it because I'm I, I, and if you want us to review every episode, comment down below, see what you guys think, and uh, it's another weekly one. Yeah, know. it's another weekly one. So you know, I mean, you guys really liked the last time when we did the weekly. Um, oh God! Oh, the Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Yeah. So <laughs> the other star show. The other star show. That the one I'm a little bit more invested in, but I, like I said, I've I, you know literally invested. Yeah. <laughs> thousands of dollars invested. But yeah, I think that's it from us. Uh, comment down below what you guys think about this show. Are you excited for episode two? And if you want to watch us, um, you know, uh, review this, uh, comment down below and see what you think. If not, then come, 
Comment down below what you want us to review or yeah. talk about. But I think that's it from us. While you're down there reviewing and um, telling us, go hit that like button and also that cool red subscribe button. Yes. With that bell icon. And if you want to see this unedited, we have Patreon now. Oh, yeah. Get all Patreon. You can see the behind the scenes stupidity. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh no! You put you put the whole thing on. I there? literally only oh, put the, no. the beginning and the end in it, and to keep the rest. The you know the little talk nerdy to me beginning and ending intros and outros. Oh no! The rest so you is, get you get to see all the unedited stuff, the, all the dumb crap that we talk about, picking our nose and oh god, all kinds of other stuff. I need to scrub that from the internet. Using the five gallon bucket underneath the table. Yeah, that's always interesting. <laughs> I wish they had smell of vision now. Oh, scratch and sniff the screen. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, yeah, hit us on Patreon. You can also download our podcast. Um, all the links are down below. Um, yes, sir. He always copies and pastes them. I don't. I did it one time. It just took too long. I, I'd rather let him do it. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. Yeah, I'm Even all when you like, put the picture in there, just like <laughs> I was like, really? I'm sitting there like, click, man, yeah, click, yeah, good, it's fine. You, hey, there. Oh, yeah. you like that? You yeah. want another picture? There. Yeah, I did it once in like two years. You do it every time, so I don't hear. But either way, yeah, also hit that bell icon because it actually tells you when we upload new things. You will be notified. You will be notified. You will be notified. Um, so yeah, and uh, for the people who are listening to our podcast. Have a good night. I know you are listening to us. This sweet is dreams. Our ending. And to that one person, you know who you are who's listening to us right now. <laughs> <laughs> we know you're listening and we love you. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. So either way, I think that's it from us. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, that's, en yeah, that's enough. Uh, watch us next week for reviewing episode two. My name is Patrick with Talk Nerdy to Me. I'm Troy, also Talk Nerdy and to Me. We will see you nerds next week. Later, nerds. Bye, nerds. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG.